I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Whiskey lovers. New bottle of whiskey, this came fresh today. Through the post, straight on the table, straight into a video. Um, so yeah, a bit of scotch today. We have got Glenfiddich. This is, um, I think this is new. I swear it's new. Yeah, it must be new. I should check that first, shouldn't I? I swear it's new. It must be because it's advertised to get new. Oh, literally. Anyway. Glenfiddich, 14 year old, bourbon barrel reserve. So um, this has been, so 14 year old is our first whiskey matured in two types of American oak barrel. The ex bourbon cask are the bedrock. Giggity. Giggity, giggity, giggity goo. Given an indulgent richness and sweetness after 14 years. Not so giggity. Then we shake it awake in deep charred new oak barrels with vivid and vibrant punch of vanilla. So yes, that is right. Love the blue, by the way. This uh, blue boxing is very nice. I, uh, I like it. I, um, I've already opened it. It's all in the glass, let it air. I actually, I've started up a new TikTok channel, which is just gonna be like little whiskey reviews, but with no words. It's just opening, sniffing, tasting, giving a facial expression of joy or displeasure. So, um, that's why I've already opened it. But yeah, it is 43%, you know, it's, it's always nice when it's a bit higher than that. At least it's better than the box down to 40%. Um, but yeah, no, I, I would like it to be a bit higher than 43, but what can you do? I'm not the distiller, it's not my choice. But yeah, standard Glenfiddich shape bottle. Um, I've had some, I, I quite like Glenfiddich. I'm a big fan, 12 is a classic, um, I've tried, all but one of their experimental experimental series. Um, I also did a video a couple months ago of the, the latest one, number five, the, the orchard one, which was also absolutely delicious. So um, yes, always exciting to get a new new bottle of this to try. So I have been excited to get home and try it today. So that's why I got straight home and tried it. Um, let's have a little swoosh, a little swoosh. It's quite a quite a light amber colour. Um, yeah, it's got some big fat tears coming down. Yeah, they're quite nice and slow. Quite quite good. Obviously, they're not going to be super slow and oily because it is unfortunately only forty three percent. But you can't win everything, can you? But anyway, let's a sniff. It has got quite a nice. Um, it's got quite a fruity smell to this. Get dark cherry. Get some apple. There's definitely some plum in there as well. There's definitely some plum in there. There's also the sound of a pregnant woman walking upstairs by the sound of it. Yep, yeah, there's them creaky floorboards. Definitely getting that vanilla, which was mentioned on the bottle. It's definitely there, it's definitely present. It's like cinnamony, bacon sort of smell in there as well. Definitely a lot going on in the nose. Slight like bit of like treacly flapjack smell to it as well. Definitely getting that um, bourbon barrel. This it has got a slight um, I've had a few bourbons, I've done the vid on my videos recently, so there's that daddy rack. Um I see one of my favourites, the old reserve double oaked. It's definitely got a nose of that. Which I normally get a bit of apple smell from that as well, so it is very is very similar hitting them notes. I'm not sure which um what 
from bourbon was in these barrels. Um, I'm sure if I Googled it, let me know. There's nothing about it on, on, the, on the tin or the box, whatever you want to call this. No. But yeah, wonderful nose, really nice. Really nice. Now I've gone back to it again, I'm really getting hit with that apple fruitiness. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh wow. Get a real, real chocolate cherry taste in there. God, oh, it's delicious. Mmm. It's a little bit of an, um, like a marzipan flavouring going in there as well. Mmm. There is a bit of spikiness there. Um, since it's only 43, it has got a little bit of a, a little bit of a poke. But yeah, I'm really getting chocolate and marzipan, cherries. That is, a, for me, that is another winner from Glenfiddich, honestly. That is so good. Really enjoying this. Bit of that baking spice coming through in the, in the palette as well. But yeah, it's so, mmm, so chocolatey sweet. I mean, I, I love marzipan. Marzipan's another one of them um, sort of marmite kind of things. You know, people will love it or hate it. I love it. I always love marzipan. It's always been a big favourite of mine. And it's just like that, you know, when you have a birthday cake, you get the ice in, that, that marzipan layer underneath it, it tastes, getting that so bad. Mmm. That cherry chocolate is coming, oh my God, it's so good. Slight cherry bakewell sort of taste coming through. Oh, that is honestly wonderful. That is such a, such a delicious drum. Really nice. And paid for by... Patreon. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, being patron and um, giving me some money. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, that's paid for that. And wow, you know, you could have, you could have got me a nicer gift that I chose. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. If you want to become a patron, the link's there. I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. Um, but if you don't, a like, a subscribe is just as good. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you are liking the videos. And um, I've got plenty more drinks to uh, to review. And um, I'll be back if you see my old videos. I've got my friend um, Angelo Bugle. Uh, I'm going around his in a couple of weeks' time. And he's got off about three rums on his shelf that I uh, think we like to do a bit of video action on so we do that and he's also got the pineapple au which i haven't tried either so that might be we might be racking up a few little videos to uh to do there oh and it's his birthday today as well so cheers happy birthday to you angelo bugle mm. i've got nothing much more to say about that because apart from the fact it is delicious really good um mm. Really good. I might actually pour myself another dram and go and watch my favourite football team probably get absolutely destroyed by Liverpool tonight if there isn't a big pitch invasion and the game is called off beforehand. But who knows what's going to happen. So cheers. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, don't forget to look and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Um, all the links for everything are down below on the website. Please jump on in. Until next time. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Nope.